If you're living in Mumbai, you will have to shell 94 rupees for buying a litre of petrol today. But do you know that the price of petrol to dealers is approximately 30 rupees per litre? So what exactly are you shelling the extra 58 rupees for? And why are petrol and diesel prices in the country so high? To understand that, we must first understand how the prices of fuel is calculated. Now, India produces only 20% of its oil requirement and the rest is imported from other countries. The value of crude oil internationally is measured in dollar per barrel. Now, that is the price at which India buys petrol internationally. So, given the price of crude oil internationally today is 58.6 dollar per barrel, which is approximately 25 rupees per litre, Add to that the cost of refining the petrol and diesel extra 5 rupees and that should become the price of your fuel 30 rupees per litre right except now come the taxes excise duty plus road says charge that is levied by the central government add to that the dealer commission the commission that petrol and you know petrol pump owners take plus VAT and all of that makes up for the final price of retail fuel in the country. Remember, excise duty is charged by the government, central government, and VAT is charged by the state government. Commission is charged by petrol pump owners. So by the time you go and buy petrol, the cost rises up substantially. But of the total money you're paying right now, 70% is tax. Now, in theory, petrol prices and diesel prices are linked to global crude oil prices, but the reality is very different. The price of crude oil in October of 2018 was $80 per barrel. The petrol prices during those times reached an all-time high of 84 rupees a litre in the national capital. The value of crude oil price today is approximately $58.6 per barrel. But the price of petrol in Delhi is still close to 88 rupees a litre, very high. Logical reasoning applies that when international prices are down, so should the retail prices in India. But that is not happening. Oil prices decontrol is a one-way street in Indian government. So when global prices go up, it is passed on to the consumers, which means that the consumers end up paying more in terms of taxes. But when the reverse happens and the prices go down, the government slaps fresh taxes and levies to ensure it earns extra revenue and the prices remain constant. So consumers who should have idly benefited by the way of lower prices, they don't. Government wins and consumer loses. This is exactly what is happening today. Crude oil prices nosedived to an average of $55 per barrel in February of 2020 to 35 in early March of 2020 amid pandemic, falling to about $20 per barrel in March of 2020. On the other hand, in India, the retail prices were frozen for a record 82 days during that period. Even as excise duty on fuels was hiked by the centre twice. Apart from the centre, a number of states also hiked hiked taxes to uh, you know shore up the revenues the excise hike did not result in price hike because the crude oil prices were low so the oil marketing companies were not making any loss and they did not hike the petrol and diesel prices but now that the crude oil prices are also starting to rise oil marketing companies can no longer bear the brunt and therefore your retail price for both petrol and diesel is being hiked every day.